Slurp. Eight lies about dinosaurs you need to stop believing. So there are a lot of misconceptions about dinosaurs floating around. From humans doing battle with them to Brontosaurus not really existing. Join us as we explore eight lies about dinosaurs that you really need to stop believing. Number eight, humans lived alongside dinosaurs. So I thought this wasn't a common misconception, but apparently it is. Despite the common image of primitive man battling it out with dinosaurs, there is no possible way humans ever encountered dinosaurs. With the exception of birds, dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago, while fossils of our earliest human ancestors date back a mere 6 million years ago. Number 7. Brontosaurus never existed. Sort of. This one is fascinating. Everyone can remember that life-crushing moment when they found out that Brontosaurus never existed. Well, fear not children, because old maid Thunder Lizard is back. The mix-up began back in 1879, when famed paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh mistakenly categorised some Apatosaurus bones. Or so we thought. For the better part of the 20th century, poor Brontosaurus faced a second extinction as the majority of paleontologists favoured Apatosaurus as the correct species. However, several notable studies, one from Oxford University and the New University of Lisbon in Portugal, have published compelling evidence that the Thunder Lizard should roam the textbooks once again. Lead study author Emmanuel Schopp says that the most notable difference between Apatosaurus and Brontosaurus are the higher and less wide neck bones. The scientists conclude that there are actually three species of Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus excelsus, which was the first type ever discovered, as well as B. parvus and B. yarnapin. So that means old mate Brontosaurus is back. Get the Mountain Dew out, it's celebrating time. Number six. Mammals only appeared after dinosaurs went extinct. This is another widely held fallacy. Mammals and dinosaurs actually coexisted for some 150 million years. Admittedly though, mammals in the Mesozoic period were tiny little furry creatures, often too small to be disturbed by their giant dinosaur neighbours. They occupied tiny little niches, feasting on insects and small reptiles. Then once the dinosaurs became extinct, it opened up the playing field, allowing mammals to diversify and evolve much larger. Number 5. Dinosaurs are evolutionary failures. This is one of those lies about dinosaurs that is really persistent. Just because they no longer exist doesn't mean they failed as a species. On the contrary, they roamed the Earth for an incredible 150 million years. That's 750 times longer than the period modern humans have existed. Number 4. All prehistoric reptiles were dinosaurs. This is another common misconception. This might actually come as a surprise, but there were no flying dinosaurs, nor were there any that swam. Dinosaurs only represent about 10% of the 40 types of reptiles that existed during the Mesozoic period. There were plenty of aquatic reptiles, including plesiosaurs, but they're technically not true dinosaurs. While non-avian flying reptiles belong to a group called pterosaurs, which include the famous pterodactylus and the quetzalcoatlus, which is the largest known flying animal of all time. Number 3. They were cold-blooded. For many years, scientists believed dinosaurs to be cold-blooded like reptiles. Then some research suggested that they may have been warm-blooded like mammals. However, recent studies suggest that dinosaurs may have been mesotherms, which means they couldn't control their temperature as well as mammals, but weren't completely cold-blooded like reptiles. They were a hybrid of the two. Number 2. Stegosaurus battled it out with T-Rex. Despite the inner child in all of us wanting this to be true, sadly it just isn't. Not all dinosaurs existed at the same time. Throughout the Mesozoic era, many species of dinosaur came and went. In fact, the period of time between Tyrannosaurus and Stegosaurus is greater than the period of time between Tyrannosaurus and your parents. Number 1. An asteroid was the only reason dinosaurs went extinct. This one is still up for debate. A deep sea drill off the coast of Florida a number of years ago gave strong evidence that an asteroid did hit the Earth at the end of the Cretaceous period. This would have had catastrophic consequences around the world. 
all dinosaurs in the vicinity of the impact zone most likely died immediately, as there is no evidence that non-avian dinosaurs survived past this time period. Massive dust clouds would have formed, possibly cooling the earth for months or even years. Tsunamis would have caused havoc along major coastlines and acid rain may have poured down. However, many paleontologists believe that dinosaur numbers were already dwindling before the asteroid hit. Some scientists speculate that falling sea levels and volcanic eruptions took their toll on the dinosaur population, and it was the asteroid that finally sealed their fate. Are you sick of your t-shirts just flying off with the slightest breeze? Well, don't be nude in public ever again with a slapped ham t-shirt. Guaranteed to not come off because it has a front and a back and some armholes. That's right, we have t-shirts available. Get your mittens on a once-off slap tam tee. These are strictly limited edition and will not be printed ever again. These are only on sale for the next two weeks. After that, they're gone for good. So order yours right now. Links are in the description box below. Fascinating. As always, thanks heaps for watching. Remember to share this around with your friends and family on social media. For all the latest Slaptam news, make sure you're following us on Twitter and Facebook. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe because we have new content coming out each and every week. And this is the Slaptam shining off. <laughs>